floor hockey fans, I wanted to give you a little preview of the new MDHL and its, pr its proposed venue. And what you're looking at right now is the actual live footage on a Saturday morning slash afternoon of the Ridge Road inline rink where we plan to have our MDHL league start and play for a majority of the season, annual season as well too. Um, great place, it's in Germantown, Maryland, right off exit 16 of Father Holy Boulevard and uh, we'll take a quick preview and tour of the facility. Before we do, I want to actually show you the actual park we're in. As I turn to my left, you can see here, this is a huge park. There are so many uh, fields in here. There's actually a dog park in here. There's also a, uh, a couple of baseball fields, tennis courts as well too. Um, plenty of parking as you can see in the back on this side. As I scroll again to my left going counterclockwise, you'll see more additional free parking here as well too. So um, it's a great facility, great location. Uh, parking is not an issue at all as well too. It's nice, uh, nice, quiet, and peaceful as well too. Um, there usually is not much traffic here at all as well, so it's, it's actually a great location for a league to start. And um, this is where we plan to start uh, our MDHL. Let's go inside and take a look through the actual facilities as we speak here, as I walk in. And again, I'm here on a, on a Saturday afternoon, so as you can see, um, how quiet, peaceful, and clean this facility is. Um, it is open right now, so as I walk in here, you can see to my right, actual map and all the Montgomery County parks and facilities that are obviously are associated with this particular uh, with this venue. And as I go to my left, you'll see restrooms. There is the uh, the female restroom. And of course the male restroom, they're always open and the restrooms are absolutely clean um, and they're brand new so it's just a great facility again for us to get started with the MDHL. Let's walk down and look at the actual uh, rink itself. As you can see it's actually an inline rink uh, which means it's huge. It does have a, uh, as I scroll to my right here you can see, it does have a player's bench for one team. There's a penalty box. There's the, uh, the scorer's table. There's the other penalty box, and there, of course, to my left, is the actual other bench uh, as well for the other team as well too. Let's walk down, take a quick tour of the facility from uh, from the actual floor size, and so you have an idea of uh, what uh, to expect here. Again, um, being a inline rink, uh, we have a lot of great amenities with it. First of all. We don't have to worry about getting nets or storage, storing nets. As you can see, the inline rink provides actually a large regulation size net with the crease marked up as well too. So um, great for goalies and I know we can't do that at Sidwell but uh, here it's already done for us. So you can see the blue uh, box for the, uh, the crease area and the circle as well too and the actual nets. And uh, there's one obviously on both sides. I'm going to zoom in here if I can. And there you go, you can see it from that angle as well too, and then zoom back out. As I zoom back out, you can see how big this actual rink is. It's actually bigger than Sidwell. So it'll be, there'll be no problems having five on five action here actually. Um, there's plenty of space and if you thought Sidwell was big and gave you plenty of chance to run and use your energy and to burn fuel, this rink will definitely, definitely eat you up alive if you're playing here. So definitely um, short-handed teams will not survive here at all. In fact, I'm probably going to mandate that you have at least 11 or 12 players in the roster because um, as you can see, the rink is actually very huge. And it's concrete, not like uh, Citadel where we, have, uh, where we have wooden floors, but it's huge. And uh, five on five action should be absolutely no problem whatsoever in this case. Um, I don't see, uh, I'm trying to find the actual markers, but uh, uh, we could probably work, make that work. I don't see a blue line and a red line. I don't, I don't see a blue line for defensive speaking, but I'm sure we could work that out somehow, some way. That shouldn't be a major issue. But uh, again, all the face-off dots are marked as well too. So a great, great location for us to, uh, to play hockey for a majority of the Maryland season. I would say uh, we could probably play here from maybe February, March through maybe in, in November, early December before snows really hit out there. So um, we could have uh, almost the entire year here. And if we want to still play from December through January, February, March, we'll have an alternate indoor location to play there for that part of the season overall. Um, again, you can see the benches here as well too. Uh, from each side. Notice the fenced-in yard in the back as well too and, and the park in the background. 
Again, it's very quiet, peaceful. As I walk to this side here, you can see the uh, other fields. Looks like a football fields behind us or soccer fields behind us here as well too. So a lot of amenities to work with for us, which is always nice to have. Um, and the location is pristine, uh, clear, Montgomery County, Germantown area. Not much traffic area as well too. I'm gonna walk over here. You'll see actually a dog park, which is actually pretty well known in this area. And I live maybe about a half, I probably live about two miles from here actually. About two miles of distance, so I'm not too far from the actual rink itself, which is also added bonus as well too. But you can see, there is a uh, dog park right behind the screen here, overall, where uh, dogs are not allowed to, uh, to play and, and fraternize with, with other dogs as well too. Um, plenty of parking behind us is actually uh, 355 as well too, so a great location where we hope to have games started here at uh, MDHL, hopefully by mid-September, if not early September or so in this case. Again, uh, we look forward to, uh, to a new league here. The goal of DCHO was to basically start a league in Maryland. As it turned out, it did not work out the way I thought it would. We drew a lot of players from Virginia and DC uh, and Maryland as well too. But the idea of the DCHO was actually to have a league in Maryland where I live um, instead of driving all the way to Virginia to play games. And about a year and a half later, obviously DCHL is pretty well entrenched in DC, so we're not moving there. We have a pretty hardcore clientele down there, and we're gonna stay where we are, at least in DC area. We may move from Sidwell to a different um, to a different gym, but we're staying in DC on Sundays, which is our venue and our nights. But it looks like the MDHL will be starting play on Saturday afternoons here at Germantown. Um, recreational park at the Ridge Road inline rink as well too. So there you have it folks, um, a quick preview of what we're going to be playing our games out there. One last look, huge rink, we hope to see you out there and um, start another tradition just like the DCHL did with the MDHL as well too. Thank you so much.